Welcome to Debate Your Fate. I'm Sean Klitzner. And I'm Sam Shocker. And yes, the name says it all. The loser of today's debate has to spin that damn wheel of fate. That's right. Uh, Sam, something seems different. Yeah, you're a brunette again. Don't talk about my hair. Still a little auburny. Still but that's not okay. over it. No, I'm talking about the live studio <laughs> audience. <laughs> Sean, Sean. Yeah, that's not gonna work for you. Don't worry, folks, the rules have not changed, though. That's right, we still have 60 seconds for today's debate. We also have this buzzer here that's gonna begin and pull power. Good old Buzzy the Buzzard. It's also gonna tell us today's topic. Is it okay to fake an orgasm? Ah, my mom watches this show. We have people right here. Uh, okay, at listening. least I don't know them. All right. Okay, Rochambeau. Oh my god, my dad watches this show. That makes it that much worse. Okay, ready? My dad doesn't watch my show. Ready? Yes! No! Okay, hold on, let me gather. This changes everything. Okay. Hell to the no, should you ever fake an orgasm? Listen, not only are you doing a disservice to yourself, to your needs, but to your relationship. Whether it is a long-term relationship or, or a short-term relationship, you are essentially lying to that person. You are teaching them to be a bad lover. And at the end of the day, if you want to heighten intimacy, you need to have communication and trust. Otherwise, maybe you shouldn't be with that person. Boo. Okay, yeah, I absolutely agree that communication is, is essential, but that's not what the argument is. The argument is the actual faking of the orgasm, which I think should definitely happen for a couple of reasons. Here's why. First of all, sometimes girls don't want to have sex with us. So when you want to just, you know, get in and get out literally, then sometimes we just need you to fake it. And as long as you have communication afterwards of saying, hey, by the way, you know, you didn't get me off, then I think that's... No! All you have to do is tell the person, listen, why don't you finish? Don't make it fun for them. You don't have to lie. Or you say, why don't we pick up where we left off? You don't lie, period. Final thoughts. Okay, my final thought is this. I'm gonna say that not just women fake orgasms. It's important for the fakeage of an orgasm to exist because sometimes us guys, we get a little too excited in pre-orgasm and we want to <laughs> remain manly and masculine and want to wait for you ladies. So it's a service to you. That was a long You're last welcome. final thought. Okay, uh, at the final thought, uh, if you have communication and trust in your relationship, you should never feel the need to fake an orgasm. Honesty is the best policy. I'm shaking. I'm actually, I swear to God, I'm actually shaking. I know, I feel my heartbeat. Because Still. right here, right now, unlike previous episodes, we get to find out who won, but most importantly, who lost this debate. That's right, our amazing live studio audience is gonna determine the winner. So if you guys agree with Sam, you're gonna hold up the pink sign. If you agree with Sean, you're gonna hold up the blue. Blue, blue for boys. I don't like girls. that. Whatever. Oh, Deal okay. with it. All right. All right. So, so are we ready? We this on is three? it. Three. Oh. Three. Yes. All right. One, two, three. Oh. Okay. What? What? <laughs> this is insane. You guys are it gonna is... die. You're gonna die. It's uh, pretty one-sided. We're not gonna tell you if it's more one-sided towards okay, Sean or but me. But here's but I'm the deal. Dying. You guys still have a say. So if you agree with me on this argument, hashtag Team Sean. And if you agree with me, hashtag Team Sam. Because don't worry. Here's the deal. If you disagree with our live studio audience, we have a very special punishment that will be. Revealed. shown to you. So stay tuned for Friday. We'll see you then. I, I can't believe it. You guys